Hi, you cute little baby. Are you ready for your bath? Yes. Hello, everybody. So today I'm going to wash this little Yorkie. He's overdue over grooming. He needs a bath. And look how cute he is. Is he cute? You're gonna look cuter when you're done. Yeah, so I just wanted to basically show you how I bath the Yorkie. Now, most Yorkies have greasy fur, a greasy, a greasy coat. You can see it on the back. But um, what I do first to make sure the water is the appropriate temperature, not too hot, not too cold, and just right, just like tepid. You don't want it too warm. It's basically like when you can't feel it on, on and all, it's just perfect. You want to do that. So what I do first is I wet them down. You are so cute. I gotta say. No, I think it's gonna be fussy for his face. No, we'll see. I lower the the, um, the pressure. And then I also hold down the ears because he's got erect ears. Try to avoid getting water in the ears. It's okay. It's very, very low pressure. And I just hold the mouth shut because you don't want to get water right down the, um, you know, the throat, right? There. I like to wet them down all over first, especially if they have like hard stuff in their eyes. You know, in their corners, they get hard crusties. So you want to wet that first. So by the time you get to wash its face, the crusty stuff will be soft. There we go. All right, then I'm gonna get my shampoo that I've already diluted. I never use people's shampoo. It's a dog shampoo. Is the right pH for the dog. And I just squirt it all over. Get under the tail there. And I always work on the, the legs first and then the body and then the head. I don't like to put soap on the, the head right away because you know they can lick it, get in their eyes. So I always wait to put shampoo on the head at the end. So I'm just rubbing the coat and I'm washing between the toes with my thumb and my fingers. So I wash Yorkies uh, twice. I wash actually all my dogs twice. Once is basically to get off the surface dirt and then twice is, or the second time is just to get, you know, them deep cleaned. Hi. Alrighty, I'm just gonna put a little bit around the nose. Be very careful, come here. I use my thumb on top of the nose and I actually have my fingers just under the jaw here, you'll feel like an indent. You can hold them there. It doesn't hurt. Oh, stick your tongue in. You're gonna eat the shampoo. Yeah, he's known for sticking out his tongue because his tongue is too big for his mouth. Come here, let me see. I know, we don't like the face. So the face is always like the dirtiest. The face and the feet and the, you know, under the tail. So you want to pay special attention to those areas. Look at all that gunky stuff with my nails in the corners of the eyes. And the rest of that is just like stains on the fur. So that doesn't come out. Come here, no, no, no. See right in the corners, you can just use your nail to loosen it up. Cam here. I'm gonna rinse, rinse them off. And usually when I rinse them, I'll rinse the face first because again, you don't want the soap sitting, you know, near its eyes or, or its mouth. They're gonna lick the soap. Come here.
There we go, one rinsing, alrighty, come here. So what I do now is I use a degreasing shampoo and it's a degreasing uh, bar. This is called a Tubbs bar, works really, really well. I just got some of them, smaller ones piled on top of the other ones. Just gonna rinse the hair off because it was on my cupboard and you know, hair floats everywhere from the dog. But it'll work the same. And Yorkie's ears, you want to wash the ear tips really good because they're always greasy. Always, always. And you want them to be really clean because at the end when you're doing the groom and you're trimming them, you know, you see his face and then you'll see two pointy ears that are greasy and dirty. You don't want that look, right? So really, really, you want to scrub the tips of the ears there we go. Okay, now I'm just going to get the chin hair. Smell delicious. Here we go. Yay! And then I go over the legs again. Scrub the body. I can just feel the difference. Really. Under the tail. Always dirty there, of course. Oh, I didn't want to show you a butt on camera. No. There we go. You feel squeaky. Nice clean feet. The Chubbs bar is really nice. You know when it's working really good, when it's all, it lathers like, hear that? Like a milky lather. Beautiful. Ready then? I'm gonna rinse you. Come here. I knew you don't like it. Go, boop, 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 boop. Start with your chin. You're pretty good though. Pretty good with your face. Mm -hmm. There we go, sweetie pie. Okay, lift your head up. I'm gonna get right above your eyes there. Always rinse the eyes. There we go. So one more last step of what I do when I use the Chubbs bar. Sometimes I, it's really nice and clean and gets the grease off, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too dry. I just use my shampoo again really quickly, not on the head, just on the body quickly, just to run the shampoo over the body again. And it feels much uh, nicer. The shampoo I'm using has some conditioner in it. That makes the coat really nice. There we go. Oh, what a clean doggy. What a clean doggy. Yes. Yay. Okay, wait, hang on. Then I get my chamois. And I just towel dry it with the chamois here. And then he'll get blow dried. Right, sweetie? Oh, look at your ears. Is that ever cute? Come here, show your ears. Look at your ears. See the ears? Cute. There we go. He's so tiny. So tiny. Yeah. Alrighty then. There, I got the majority of the 
water off. Oh. Go ahead, shake some more. So that's how I wash a Yorkshire Terrier. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope this helps you if you want to wash your Yorkie. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.